It's time for Where You Live with Gene and Tony, the show that's all about owning, buying, selling, renting, and association management. If it involves a home, we'll talk about it. Here's your chance to get your homeowner questions answered. From the Concierge Landscape Studios, here's Gene and Tony. Need the shelter of someone's arms, and there you were. Good morning. Welcome once again to Where You Live with Gene and Tony. I'm Gene Sullivan. And I'm Tony Crockett. Hi, Gene. Hi, Tony. We've got a great show for you today, uh, folks. We're going to be uh, talking about, uh, I guess, a couple of themes that uh, come to my mind anyway. Um, the, the first is uh, a lot of people talk about the rights they have. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. people use that all the time. And and I think they use that term, I think, just too much. <laughs> <laughs> or even incorrectly. Incorrectly, yes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's, that's even a, a better way of yeah. saying it. Incorrectly. I, uh, what people consider their rights um, are a lot more these days than I think our founding fathers ever thought them to be. <laughs> Uh, and uh, and that uh, therefore causes a lot of problems right. that we have with uh, with legislation. The other part, the other th- uh, thing that I, I've noticed that is a theme uh, over and over again. Tell me what you think about this, Tony. And that is, I think um, people play uh, the victim status mm. a lot more than yeah. they than they should as well. I do, too. I think that, too. We've talked about that on the show before. It, uh, people declaring themselves victims of all kinds of oddball things. You know, we've talked about HOA syndrome. We've talked about people feeling victimized by their board of directors when, mm-hmm. in reality, they are the association and could be on the board of yeah. directors. It's, I don't quite understand that stance, except it seems to allow them then to look outside themselves for help. Yeah, and you know it. Uh, what it does is it, it causes people to turn to another governing body. Yeah, um, and uh, they don't like what goes on in their homeowners association, so they look to the city or the state, uh, typically the state. So the state will rewrite uh, some laws. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, and we know that sometimes they rewrite laws that are not necessary. It's not necessary to rewrite a law. They just don't know what the existing law is. There, there's no uh, understanding. There's yeah. a lack of uh, knowledge or intelligence on that subject. <laughs> and so people... You said lack of intelligence. Yes. All right. Yeah, no, not not in a person's ability to understand, but in intelligence in terms of information. Information. Yes. All right. All right. Uh, and so we're, you're going to... Uh, that's something that uh, I see a lot uh, today, especially mm-hmm. in these... Uh, Articles that we're talking about. What are we going to be talking about today, you ask? Well, um, a little bit later on today, we're going to have a conversation with Minneapolis City Council member Don Samuels. If you remember, about a month ago or so, we talked about the city of Minneapolis that had revoked the licenses of 16 properties all belonging to one gentleman. The rental license. Yes, and so we're going to talk to... uh, uh, Council Member uh, Samuels uh, about uh, what took place. Mm-hmm. He'll give us a little bit more information. On yeah, we heard the from the ten- the landlords' rights group that supported this yep. landlord. We heard their side of the story, and now we can hear the city's. That's right. Uh, we're also going to be talking a little bit uh, later today about uh, things that will be taking place uh, at the Minnesota State mm. Legislature this year. Too. Really, is uh, something's going on there? Something's going on there huh. too. That's right. We talked about it last year. It was uh, called Senate. File 926 that uh, deals with flags, political signs, and liens. Mm. Sort of an interesting combo. <laughs> uh, but uh, that bill is going to be rearing its head again this uh, session, and we're going to be talking a little bit later in the show, too, with Deanna Price, who is a property manager with us at uh, New Concepts mm-hmm. um, and is also on the Legislative Action Committee of a number of our uh, uh, industry organization. That's right. It's going to be giving us an update on that, too. She's a political animal. She is. And, uh, of course, uh, so much more, too. But uh, let's begin right now, without further ado, with property management in the news.
Property Management in the News is brought to you by Pest Control Services. If you want to get rid of unwanted pests in your home or rental property, you want to call someone who's responsive, professional, and a proud member of Angie's List. That would be Greg Keener. That's the person I'd give a call to. His number, 952-894-9748, Pest Control Services. Well, let's uh, get started with our first story. This comes out of Phoenix, Arizona. We're going to begin to play a clip from the ABC affiliate there, Channel 15 uh, News, on the legislature there wanting to limit a homeowner association's power as it pertains to parking on the street. Eric? Strong feelings about your homeowners associations, judging by the emails you send us. Well, tonight, ABC 15 investigator Joe Ducey looks at a gripe with one HOA involving parking and possible changes to laws governing all HOAs in our state. We have my uncle's truck back here. My truck is actually parked in the driveway along with my mom's car, and then there's another car over in the garage. With a small two-car garage and four drivers, a little room for parking at David Jones' Maricopa house, so he's parked in front. We actually had the car parked out on the street one night, and we received a complaint the very next day. Make that two complaints in two months. Parking is only allowed in driveways and garages. Overnight parking is absolutely prohibited. The letter is from his homeowners association. Obviously, it can create havoc in the street if there's too many cars lined up on the side. But that hasn't been the issue. I mean, it doesn't appear to be in the middle of the road. So Instead, the HOA states the parking rule is to keep a well-maintained community with enhanced property values. Now, it's hard to argue every HOA rule, but a lot of you say your HOA goes way too far. The Jones argument is that the HOA doesn't govern the streets. I think it should be city rules overall. Now the Arizona legislature is looking at regulating some of HOA's control on parking. That's if the HOA owns the streets. A bill by Republican Representative John Kavanaugh would stop those HOAs from controlling street parking if they don't allow you to park two cars in the driveway. It may help some, but the Jones would like even more. We have to pull one car out so he can get out of there. There are other HOA bills also being proposed. Let your state representatives know how you feel about it. Go to abc15.com slash consumer alerts for links to do just that. And let me know about any issues you have. Email me or go to my ABC 15 Facebook page. I'm investigating. And that was the article. Now, if you're just joining the show a little bit late and uh, we want to clarify, this is not the Minnesota legislature, so don't contact (laughs) your 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 legislature. That's not the issue here. This This is is in Arizona. In Arizona. I need a point of clarification, though, because our our printed material says that the the Arizona legislature is looking at regulating HOA's control of parking if they do not own the streets. And the clip we just listened to, he said... They're regulating HOA's control if they do own the street. It, uh, I, so which is which is right? Um, the uh, the legislation that were that uh, Mr. Kavanaugh, who's a state representative in Arizona, is talking about is very specific. He's talking about regulating uh, parking only in the cases where the ho- the associations own or control the street. It's a private street. I'm still confused. He's talking about whom regulating the parking if the HOA owns the street? The state. Uh, the, the, the state will the see. state will do that with a, with a new law in giving certain prohibitions to the homeowner association. I see. So, so if the HOA owns the streets, the state is going to tell them what they can and can't do. Yes. Uh-huh. Right. Um, but uh, here's, here, here's the, the, the case right now. Here we've got a family. They've they have a two-car garage, mm-hmm. uh, and they have four vehicles. Mm-hmm. So they've got uh, two in garages, two in the driveway. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't, Which be, shouldn't be a problem. Sounds like that's allowed by their HOA. Not, not a problem there at all. That's right. right. But uh, the real crux of the matter is that's not convenient for this homeowner. That's what we're getting down to. I see. Because he said they that need there, to shuffle cars he said around. there's time that uh, yeah. he's got to take cars out. Yeah. And uh, the story also went on uh, to say earlier, too, that there were times when uh, they uh, weren't able to put uh, two cars in the garage because sure. they had other stuff. They had other stuff in and out. And you know what? A lot of people do. I sure. don't know how many people have 
a three car garage that use it for three cars. It's usually two cars and stuff. Mm-hmm. If you have mm-hmm. a two car garage, it's for one one car, car and, and stuff. stuff. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I I understand that that I mean that's the way a lot of yeah. people are, but when you're in a homeowners association. Uh, that is uh, something that can be very specific. That's right. But in this case, it says the homeowners association does not own the street in front of the home. So what do you think about that, Gene? Yeah. Should the HOA rules extend to parking on a public street? Well, you know what's real interesting is I did some uh, research and I called some people at the city of Phoenix mm-hmm. and also at the state legislature in Arizona, in Arizona and I've okay. got an answer to that question. All right. But we need to take a break right now. So let's do that. When we come back, we're going to be talking about what Arizona wants to do in limiting the powers of homeowner associations there as it pertains to parking. Do you think that this is out of line? We want to hear from you back after these messages.